And folks, we all know the destruction spotted lanternflies can do, right? But now a microscopic worm is devastating one of New Jersey's most common trees. Let's learn more about this. News 12 New Jersey's Lauren Dew is in Morristown talking with a tree expert on what homeowners can do to protect beech trees. Lauren, what is this all about? Yeah, well, Tony, last half hour, I said that we were going to go into the woods, but we were stopped. We're with Jason. He's the manager at Davy Tree um, Expert Company, and we were stopped because there's two different beech trees here. We want to right. go over them real quick, right? Because they don't all look the same, and you could have these in your yard, so we want to keep your, your landscape thriving. Right, yeah, you have the, the kind of the green leaf ones, and then you have the purple leaf ones. You have tricolor ones, which have obviously three different colors. Yeah. So the, some of the main focal parts are the you know the big bark yeah. that looks like an elephant trunk um, so all beech trees kind of have that look so if you have a tree like that you definitely want to contact an arborist and have us step out and look at it um, because this is this disease started like two years ago in New Jersey and just kind of spread to mainly northern Jersey feel like north of Monmouth County right would you say or just anyone in general it, it's, it's spreading like wildfire honestly okay. um, you know it got they, we found it in 2012 in Ohio, and now it's in 10 states and parts of Canada. So it's moving fast. Um, last year, we started spotting it here in the Morristown area, and I find it everywhere I go now. So um, primarily so far, yeah. in, in, in the forest when I'm hiking, but uh, you know, it, it comes from a nematode, so it, it, can, it can attack people's you know, yeah. homes. Okay, so we have video of the disease leaves and what the nematode did, which yep. I just learned is a worm, <laughs> right. a microscopic worm. So what, what does it look like if you have a diseased tree? And So it starts off looking kind of neat. There's a, yeah. this, the striping in the leaves, and then that striping actually kind of gets crispy and de almost um, deteriorating and browning and yellowing out, and then you know within two to five years, your tree can be dead. So... You know, if you have one of these trees or if you think you have one of these trees, you know, getting in touch with an arborist to kind of uh, verify if you do or you don't um, and what you should be worried about. Um, the disease is so new and, and, and advancements keep are kind of happening, not daily, but I mean, it's, it's regular. Yeah. So right now we don't have a cure for it. That doesn't mean by the end of the summer somebody doesn't come up with something. So if you have one of these, it's... it's getting on that list and understanding what you need to getting on the list right and then right. having them know that you have the tree and identifying it because you want to keep this live you guys these trees go for like thousands of dollars and you do not want that to go down the drain right you want to keep them thriving so we're going to be walking around a little bit more we're at the freeling rising arboretum it's in marstown lauren dew news 12 new jersey